But if so, why do you fail to put on your left glove on your right hand? The answer is simple yet complex. This is because of chirality. The phenomenon of, of chirality exists in everything, from elementary particles to galaxies, and many scientists believe that it could potentially lead us to the origin of life on Earth. But what does it mean, chiral? Chirality is a term used to describe two mirror image objects which are not superimposable in three dimensions, like our hands. Chirality plays a key role in chemistry, pharmacology, biology and medicine, since most biomolecules are chiral. Pharmacological activity of many drugs directly depends on their chirality. For example, left-handed penicillamine is widely used in rheumatism treatment and is depicted here as a cute puppy, but when it looks in the mirror, it sees a, there a terrible monster. And this is not surprising, since right-handed penicillamine could lead to blindness. Creation of molecules with particular handness is not an easy task, but not for the nature. For example, amino acids or building blocks of human body are left-handed, but if you try to produce this amino acid in the laboratory, you will get a mixture of 50% left-handed and 50% of right-handed molecules. But why is so is still unknown and is considered as one of the most Im important and answered question in modern science. But how can we take a step forward towards a better understanding of this phenomenon? Let's take a look at the nanoscale. Nanoparticle size of 1 to 100 nanometers which is 100,000 times thinner than a human hair. And yes, nanoparticles could also be chiral. Similarly to left and right drug molecules, left and right nanoparticles demonstrate different biological activity. In particular, they have different toxicity regarding living cells and uh, different antibacterial activity. At first glance, it may seem that there is a gulf between the chiral nanoparticles and the answer to this fundamental question. Uh, nevertheless, researchers from the Kotov group at the University of Michigan believe that chiral nanoparticles can bring new insights in this direction. Consider the following example. Individual nanoparticles assembled in flat ribbons. Elimination of the ribbons with light resulted in the twisting of ribbons and the formation of left and right ribbons was with an equal probability. But light could also be chiral. Physicists call it left and right circular polarized light. And if you take mixture of 50% left-handed and 50% right-handed nanoparticles and eliminate it with the left and right light, you will get left and right-handed twisted nanoribbons respectively. The ability of nanoparticles to retain the information of incident light could allow a better understanding of the origin of biomolecular homochirality. Indeed, astrophysicists discovered that the emission from the early stars was circularly polarized. There are numerous varieties of mesoscale and nanoparticles in interstellar space, which could absorb this light and become chiral, and then transfer the chirality to biomolecules via some mechanisms. If we can answer how chirality works on the small scales, we can project and expand it to larger ones and get a better understanding of how our universe works. So, chirality matters. And uh, the next time your child tries to put his right shoe on his left foot and fails, tell him that he's wrong, but it is chirality to blame. Thank you very much.